Hello everyone. Today we will look at a very interesting problem using computational biology techniques. Often we find that we are studying protein ligand complexes protein protein complexes even protein nucleic acid complexes as a part of our experimental hypothesis and when we are studying such complexes one of the very important aspects that majority of such studies focus on is to identify the interacting sites that is which are the residues of the protein molecule that are interacting with the ligand? Which are the residues of the two protein molecules that are interacting with one another? And subsequent to that, we often might be interested to understand whether a point mutation in any of such interacting residues can have an impact on the efficacy of the interactions that are taking place. So how do we go about studying that? We go about studying that by employing a technique using a software known as Swiss PDB viewer or deep view. Now for those of you who have an idea regarding the wet lab or experimental protocol for studying point mutations or inducing point mutations, you have studied regarding the concepts of site directed mutagenesis and other techniques. But how to do it computationally? So today we will look at a simple method by which we can induce a change in a specific amino acid of a protein structure. And for that I have chosen a PDB structure with its code being 3CYN and this is a glutathione peroxidase from homo sapiens or human beings. So we will use this molecule for our demonstration and we will see how we can induce a specific change at a specific position in this structure. So for that we need to first look at the PDB file using a simple text editor or notepad or notepad plus plus whichever you feel like using. In this text editor once you access the PDB file the general information that are there in the PDB file will become visible but we are interested in taking a look at the coordinate values of the individual amino acids that are making up this protein molecule. So this is the specific segment which we are interested in and as you can see for those who have been working with PDB files this segment is already known to you but here you can see that there are plenty of information that is provided in terms of the number of atoms, in terms of the amino acid residues, the chain in which that amino acid residue is present and the position of that amino acid residue. So for example, let us consider that we are interested to alter the tyrosine that is present at position 39 
in this particular structure. And just like in wet lab protocols, we are going to induce alanine because uh, you may look at look this up later as well that alanine scanning mutagenesis is one of the most common techniques that is used for studying the impact of that particular amino acid which is being altered. So here also we will be targeting this particular amino acid the tyrosine which is present in chain A at position 39. So by looking at the PDB file we have been able to identify the position of the amino acid which we want to alter. Now if you are working with protein ligand complexes and you have already analyzed the interaction sites then those analysis will guide you towards the selection of the residue which you might be interested to change. But for this demonstration we will be concentrating upon tyrosine at position 39 of GNA. So let us take a look at how we can go about doing it. So as you can see here, I have already accessed the 3 CYN file in the Swiss PDB viewer software. And here we need to first locate the residue that we are going to change. So how are we going to do that? We are going to do that by clicking on the window option in the graphical user interface of your Swiss PDB viewer software. And if you click on the window option, you will be guided to the subsequent other options that are present. And from there, we will be choosing the control panel and here you can see that the control panel has been displayed where you are now able to see the different amino acids and the corresponding chains that the amino acid belongs to. So what we had said in the first place, we had said that we will be working with tyrosine 39 or the tyrosine at position 39. And let us now click on the box which is associated with tyrosine 39. This is nothing but a option which allows you to change the color of that particular residue. So we need to give a color which will make it more visible than the others in this particular display. So let us give a very bright green color to this residue so that we can easily make out in the display. So here you can see that the tyrosine is being displayed in green color. So we have been able to mark out the residue which we are trying to alter in the protein structure. So if now once we have marked this residue in the protein structure itself, let us simply click on an option which is known as mutate. So here you can see that the mutate option is here provided here in the graphical user interface. So if you click on that and you click on this particular residue, you will find that the options for all the amino acids are provided here. And here, as we said earlier, we will be choosing alanine. So let us click on alanine. And immediately you can see that a change has been recorded here which shows you that the amino acid tyrosine has been changed to alanine. Now comes the important part and that important part is saving this particular 
file. So how do we save a particular file in SPDB viewer? We go to the file and we go to the option save and here you will see that we will be saving the current layer. So let us click on the save the current layer. Let us give us a give a name to this. I am choosing the same name and I am adding a suffix m which tells me that this is a file which is which contains a mutation and we have we will save it in the desktop. So once we have named the file we can click on save and the file has been saved in desktop. Now comes the interesting part and that interesting part is to check whether actually that residue has been saved in the file itself. So let me go to the file segment again and click on open PDB file and in desktop let me start searching for that particular file. Here you can see that this is the file that we had saved. So let me click open. And here you can see that the file that we saved has been opened and it contains that particular residue. You can also go to the window, click on the control bar and check that now at position 39 there is alanine. So this gives you an idea that your induction of mutation has been successful and you can now work with this file to check the impact of the mutation for subsequent ligand protein or nucleic acid interactions. Thank you.